Sleep tight if you don't want to get Alzheimer's. A new study shows that even a single bad night's sleep could raise levels of a protein that may lead to clogs in the brain and result in dementia. Amyloid beta and tau are two proteins in the brain that are naturally produced but can cause clogs and tangles in the brain. The proteins are cleared away when the body enters slow wave sleep. Experiments have shown amyloid levels increase by about 10% with tau levels also increasing after slow wave sleep is disrupted for just a few consecutive nights in a row. Amyloid beta protein levels in excess of 10% could cause amyloid plaques that lead to dementia. Meanwhile, the increase of tau could cause tangles in the brain that lead to Alzheimer's disease. More than 5 million Americans have Alzheimer's disease, and many more others are expected to develop the disease as the population ages. There is currently no cure or treatment for the disease. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Researchers around the world are racing to find a treatment for Alzheimer's. Researchers find terrifying link between Alzheimer's disease and the very air you breathe. New research suggests there may be a connection between cognitive decline and heavily polluted air. According to U.S. researchers, elderly women who breathe polluted air, such as from car exhausts, have a higher risk of developing dementia and suffering cognitive decline. The research also suggests that women who carry the gene APOE4 have a much higher chance of developing Alzheimer's disease if exposed to similar air pollution. These dangerous particles are found in pollution from car exhaust fumes, power plants, and even burning wood. The research was led by the University of Southern California and published in the journal Translational Psychiatry. Signs of Alzheimer's seen in people in their 20s. Researchers have found that signs of Alzheimer's disease can be seen in people who are as young as 20 years old. Researchers have discovered that amyloid plaques, hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease, can accumulate in even people as young as 20. With amyloid plaques present, a protein called tau becomes abnormal, causing microtubules inside the fibers of the brain's nerve cells to collapse. The collapse causes the fibers to twist together, resulting in neurofibrillary tangles that decay neuronal endings. Researchers at Harvard are conducting the first large clinical trial to scan the brains of healthy patients for higher levels of tau protein. Researchers at the University of San Luis Potosi in Mexico believe that skin biopsies could also detect levels of tau protein. Five million Americans are affected by Alzheimer's, and researchers believe that by 2050, 16 million will be affected. Ultrasound shows promise as non-invasive treatment for Alzheimer's. Australian researchers have found that mice suffering from Alzheimer's perform much better in behaviour tests after receiving ultrasound treatment, a discovery that could give hope in the battle to find a cure for humans suffering from the degenerative illness. Neurotransmitter activities are disrupted in the brain of Alzheimer's patients. Beta amyloids, a natural protein, accumulate in patients' brains, leading to the formation of plaques that can damage nerve cells. The cerebral cortex of Alzheimer's patients also shrink as symptoms progress. Scientists at the University of Queensland in Australia conducted a series of tests in which they injected a solution containing tiny gas bubbles into mice. Ultrasound helps the gas bubbles expand, the bubbles then temporarily open a gap in the blood-brain barrier, allowing the entrance of antibodies into the brain. The antibodies remove toxic beta amyloids and thus reduce the size of the plaques in the patient's brain. Researchers now plan to carry out the same tests in larger animals such as sheep. Tests in humans will be more difficult because the human skull is harder, meaning ultrasound waves cannot easily penetrate it. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Anti-inflammatory drugs could treat depression and Alzheimer's. Scientists have discovered possible links between inflammation and mood disorders, suggesting that they could be treated with anti-inflammatory drugs. Researchers have discovered a large number of people with rheumatoid arthritis also suffer from depression. 
It is possible that inflammatory chemicals interrupt the brain's production of serotonin, a key neurotransmitter linked to mood. When patients were given particular anti-inflammatory drugs, improvements in both their arthritis symptoms and mood were observed. Scientists are investigating whether targeting the immune system could treat mood disorders, such as depression and neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's disease. The precise type of inflammation that may cause mood disorders and the anti-inflammatory drugs best suited to treating it are still under research. UK scientists develop gene therapy to treat Alzheimer's. Researchers from Imperial College London have developed a gene therapy that successfully prevents the development of Alzheimer's disease in mice. Amyloid plaques are formed by a protein known as amyloid beta peptide. These clumps of protein, which are found in the brains of people with Alzheimer's disease, are believed to cause the death of brain cells. Scientists added the gene PGC1-alpha to a modified virus able to target specific cells. This modified virus was delivered directly into the brains of mice suffering early stages of Alzheimer's. The gene is said to be able to prevent the formation of amyloid beta peptide, thus preventing the formation of amyloid plaques. Lab results showed the mice that were injected with the PGC1-alpha gene developed very few amyloid plaques, while untreated mice had multiple plaques. Imperial College London reported that previous studies have suggested physical exercise and the compound Revitrol, which is found in red wine, may also increase levels of PGC1-alpha in the human body. However, the researchers of the new treatment technique suggest injections of the 